Where's the hump? It's the TMO. It's getting uh, a hot dog. TMO, eh? Didn't get into it. Might have been getting a hot dog at certain stages of that game. <laughs> Missed a bit. Um, oh, well, no, 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 no. No rugby no, chat, no. No, oh, no. what is Bring this? Bring on the bull. What's this? <laughs> it's a shirt. What's this? It's a Wallabies jacket. It's green. You didn't get that from your daughter. I did not. This is my father's day. Oh, look. I'm not wearing a hat either. Well, yeah, have we? I remember when you had a scooch this way. I might go grab my hat. Might you, feel, you feel naked without it? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. okay. You grab a hat. You entertain everybody. Okay. Tell, do something really official, like introduce the podcast. Okay. Okay. Do like just do like a proper. <laughs> Dude, this is a flyer. I'll fix that. You fix uh, that. Well. I, yeah, do a proper uh, like podcast introduction, okay. like I see the pros do. And I'll, okay. give, I'll give you a judgment. Okay, I'll give you a rating out of ten. Okay. When, when should I start? Okay, I'll do the one of these. There's Welcome along, everybody. This is Two Cents Get Distracted with me, Two Cents, a.k.a. Mark, from here in New Zealand. We are coming to you not live from beautiful West Auckland, and I'm joined by me, Tony, from Distracted Sports, the channel that doesn't really put out videos other than this podcast. How are you? I'm good, man. You're that wearing was... an interesting shirt. Look, I liked your energy. i got to say, it, it startled me a little bit. You know, someone left a comment on my channel the other day saying, I know what you're trying to do, but, but, less stats and be more entertaining. Oh, and really? I was like, fuck you. So this was your, um, no, this was your interpretation of being that guy's wet dream. No. Oh, really? No, I think people like you for who you are and what you do. That's the thing. Yeah. Let you me be stuff. me. Yeah, you can I want to love my stats. If you want to see a little bit more of his, um, uh, Ver for life. You can watch this podcast. That's get, exactly yeah, what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't do many stats on this podcast. There's not much. You say the odd one, mm. and when I give you a stat, you almost faint. Exactly. But occasionally, it happens. Yes, it does. I've done it before. You have. You know, it has been done. You know, you're uh, wearing a Father's Day shirt. Ten out of ten Sundays this year, in the past weekend, I wanted to punch myself in the nuts. Just this past weekend. Just this past weekend. No, yeah, but it was a good. It was a good Father's Day, though. You yeah. had a good Father's Day. Yeah, I went out for dinner. Oh, really? That's and nice. I went to see my old man for morning tea. Oh, that's I great. got up at three a.m. Watched the game. Then no, I went. We're to not my, talking about that. Then yet. I went to my dad's house to have morning tea. Then I came back home and watched the Wallabies game. Yeah. And then I watched the Americans and Canadians. And then I had sleep. Oh, fabulous! Well, yeah, yeah I woke it was a busy up. Day. Then I went out for dinner. I actually was exhausted, absolutely exhausted, because I was at a conference until Saturday. I don't do conferences. I bloody have to do conferences. And it's a, they're big piss-ups and, and you got to sort of entertain and, and you, know, yeah. you know, chat, 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 make that money. And um, Is there any chit or is it just chat? Uh, occasionally we probably throw a little chit in there. Yeah. yeah but mainly chat. You got okay. a little bit of chit to keep it sexy. There you go. You know, uh, but then, you know, you put too much chit in. You sometimes lose the chat. You definitely need a balance of your chits and your chats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're probably a little chat heavy. Yeah. You know, but yeah, the chit. I'm, I've never been so good at the chat. You're full of chit. <laughs> I've been told that many, many times. Anyway, so I was exhausted from that. And the last thing I really wanted to do was wake up at 3 a.m. But I also knew that it but was... But you did as well. I did, because I knew it was Father's Day. you texted me at 5 and you were like... <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, "Oh, Tony's awake." Yeah, no, I. Because often you'll watch on demand. I was thinking about it, but I knew it was Father's Day the next day. Yeah, and I knew my daughter was really excited about it. Right. So I, if she, and she had me got me gifts and breakfast. She likes the whole breakfast and bed thing. So I couldn't. If if I hadn't watched a game, I would have been like, just okay. Pipe down with your excitement, you you know, beautiful human being. I need to watch rugby. I just need. I need to watch rugby and ignore you for the next two hours mm. and then cry for a bit. Um, so yep. I was like, I don't want to be that dad. So I was like, okay, I have to get, I have to watch this. Um, so I was like, yeah, the last thing I wanted to do was like on very little sleep on the last three days was wake up at 3 a.m. But God damn it, I did. And my heart rate just immediately just started pounding out of my bloody chest. And I was like, this is not natural. It was a big one. It was a flipping big one. Yeah. So no, a lovely Father's Day though. Pretty chill. Like got some sushi. My nice. old man, my old man's passed away. So that saves time. Um, it's Irish black humor, by the way. 
What's that got to do with sushi? <laughs> it's got nothing to do with sushi. There was a big sig where it was like, I went to get sushi, my dad's passed away. I was like, wait, <laughs> well, what's, just what's the connection between I mean, We did sushi with my daughter. She loves sushi. And right. then... Um, Usually you always said, oh, then I saw my dad and I was like, I, was uh, like, oh, I didn't have to see my dad. Oh, right. One less thing to do, I guess. That would have been the segue. <laughs> didn't have to see my dad. Yeah, well, I could have gone to the graveside, I guess. Okay. Given myself a treat. That's what my mum always says. She says, I'm like, what are you up to today, mum? She's like, oh, giving myself a treat and going to the cemetery, which is, you know. Always fun for all always ages. Always fun. Yeah, it's, it is what it is. What do you do? What mm. is your uh, go-to uh, sort of... Uh, behavior at a cemetery what, what do you do do you have loved ones at cemeteries anywhere uh the only one we ever really go to see is my father's father okay you go yeah. along do you stand there somberly or yeah what, i feel bad because i never met him he died when i was when he died when my dad was like 15 so oh, holy smokes i never met the fella oh i'm sure he's a good bloke apparently he was into his rugby oh that's a and shame. league oh he would you would have loved him whatever he was probably the best morgan out mm-hmm Best Morgan done. No, yeah, well, my old man passed away when I was 29. Mm. So my daughter never met him, but he was a hell of a bike. He loved his rugby and he also loved his league. There you go. He played. Uh, they might have played each other. Oh, he would have been a bit older than your, a bit younger than your granddad. Oh, yes, of course. That's different yeah, generations. My, that's how that my works. My dad's like probably a similar age to you. My dad would your be. Your dad would be the same age as my dad. If he, he was, was 59 alive. when he passed away in 2013. What year was he born? 1953. Oh, so they're three years apart, our parents. Yeah, so, so if, that's if, the, your da- if your granddad was playing... I just had my... the connection of death, not the connection of birth. Maybe there's so... like an afterlife game that they play and they yeah. get to play in their prime. Yeah, he played. He played reserve grade. It was reserve grade for Auckland in okay. rugby league, like this rugby league. I think my dad said my granddad played for like league for Southland or something where league is really big. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> something nice like work. that. Nice work. There you go. Fantastic. Anyway, that was our fathers. They were, they were very nice. Sorry to bum everyone out with the uh, passing of my father. Father's Day is on a, out of kilter with the rest of the world here. Really? No one else does it? Australia does on the same day as us. But the rest so all, those, of the world, all these South Africans are sitting there going, just would you hurry up and talk about how we beat your asses? I and get the feeling just... there's going to be a few viewers tuning in just to see some salty tears. They were salty tears. <laughs> They were big, like, I, I, sloppy, I, I had a look tears. at the breakdown the other day on YouTube and I could see a bunch of comments just like, bro, where's JK? I must oh, see because yeah, JK I wasn't on there. Cry. I want to see JK just moaning. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And people say, why are they asking for, why are they asking for more t- m- TMO intervention? Uh, when they were... <laughs> yeah, there's something, there's a big difference between a, a clearly drop ball and the tiniest fractional knock on at the back of the ruck four phases before a try is scored. So you watch but the hey, game. But anyway, hey, 31, I'm not better. 31-27. The box <sighs> yes. came back from oh, 10 okay. points behind. Are we doing this? Are we doing this? Speaking of comments that people found offensive. Yeah. One guy I found, found it offensive that I call it a comeback win. But that's what? just literally what that is. Somebody in your comments yeah. found it. Uh, it's like, <laughs> comeback win, WTF. And what I was like, he's hell? like, a win is a win. Like, well, come you came back. We, the All Blacks used to do comeback wins all, all the, the time. time. We, we grew love, up with comeback wins. I yeah, love a good yeah, comeback I'll, win. I'll, you I'll think like, you're dead and buried, you get in there. It's one of the best ways to watch your team yeah, win. It's, it's better than watching your team flog a team. For Just sure. you walk away because you're like, we oh, got snagged we were, one. Yeah, exactly. I would love to have that feeling right now, but I sadly have the opposite one, yeah, exactly. which is. We've blown a lead. Yeah, so we were 10 points up. We were. With. Uh, 18 minutes to play Can I start at the start Four tries to one at that stage There's a little bit of controversy Yeah Plane flying over While the huck is going on How dance f- mu- EDM dance music on The system is down bum, bum. <laughs> The system is down bum, bum, bum. And, and then uh, the, And um, uh, Pyrotechnics going on So as the elected representative Of all New Zealanders Who speak on all our behalfs Were you offended by that? Were you uh, Ambivalent? It's culturally insensitive, but if you're not from New Zealand, maybe you don't give a rat's ass, or maybe you. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, if if you did it in New Zealand, it would be weird because yeah. it's the All Blacks. Uh, but it, just if you're ever uh, partaking with a group that are from New Zealand or are of Maori heritage, and they want to do a haka, it should be. It's about connecting with your ancestors, and it's a deeply cultural and special thing uh, that is, you know, unique to New Zealand, but also, um, you know, 
we like to, you know, the singing of, um, uh, what is it? The English thing? Uh, I was about to say Sweet Land of Liberty. No, what is it? Uh, God Defend the Queen? No, King? no. Swing low, oh, yeah. sweet chair. They do that. And everyone, some people boo and all that sort of stuff. That's right. I don't mind that because it's like kind of... This, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this orchestrated thing done by the higher well, up. Do you reckon to... that was deliberately timed to go over the haka? I thought it was just off. I, I, I thought they got the timing like 10 seconds early because the haka finished like 10 seconds later. Yeah. I feel like because coordinating a plane to fly over a stadium... <laughs> It's kind of tricky, but there was there was EDM music going. Well, I think the, the, the system I think, is I, down. I think the, the music is down, and the fireworks. Someone was told when the plane flies over, hit that button, and the guy was probably like, "Oh, should I? Should I?" Well, I've been told. And then they almost need to have like TJ Perinara to get like a thumbs up from a stage manager yeah. going, "It's you now, DJ." Yeah, and that, I, um, I do feel like at times we get. Maybe. In New Zealand, we get, a little, we get a little bit precious about. I wasn't like, precious about yeah, it, yeah, but I, I'm just saying, I, like it's it's it's. For yeah. a New Zealander, it's it's uh, it can be yeah, construed as offensive. I, I don't feel like anybody has to just sit there and be quiet while we do it. No, and the South Africans are usually made it with uh, their vision of respect. Ole, ole, ole is what they usually do in the yeah. stands. That's all good. Fair enough. The plain thing, I think, I think it was just... The French whistle, the yeah. Irish are pretty quiet. The Irish are pretty quiet, yeah. Good people, the Irish. Um, David Campisi runs around in the background, like yeah, playing, like yeah, yeah, um, yeah. forced back with himself, kind of yeah, thing, yeah. playing with himself, basically. Chips his balls around. Yeah, <laughs> he chits them, and because you're not under, because some people will think that the All Blacks get an unfair advantage, get an unfair advantage from it, and they think that like teams have to, teams don't have to do anything during the haka. All no. they have to do is stay on their own half of the field, on their own side of the 10 meter line. Don't have to face. You it. can go do a jig. You can go dance around. You just can't. You don't have to look at it. You can put your backs to it. Yeah. The general logic is you you accept the challenge. Yeah. And you don't do anything which is going to piss them off. Yeah. Because it exactly. probably might make it worse. Because John Eels is uh, 1996 like, um, Wallabies against Athletic Park ran like drills. Right. During it. And they got pumped by like 45 yeah. points or something. Remember the time can, the Welsh uh, did the whole, we want the order of the anthems yeah, changed yeah, yeah, the next yeah. year. So the All Blacks just did it in the changing rooms and, and then pumped them. So yeah. it's tended to be when you buck the trend, you get pumped. John Eels did a documentary in the last five years or something <laughs> about learning, uh, basically doing a mea copa. I'm sorry that I did that. And right. Learning about the specialness of the, mm. of the hacker and all that. But then I don't like it to be too precious because it's our thing. Yeah. Nobody else has to do anything. Do what you want. Yeah. But we will comment on it. Yeah, that's right. We will comment on it and criticize it heavily. That's the way that works. I, yeah. I, I honestly think the plane was just, I think it was just 10 seconds too early. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But like, do you reckon the, the, uh, the pilot's like holding Slow down. down, slow down. We, I can't, I'm going to fall into the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be thousands of deaths, including my own. I had a, I had a massive image, uh, um, um, uh, impulse to fly Emirates afterwards <laughs> for some reason. That's exactly right. Yeah. All right. So it starts well for the All Blacks that game. Oh, it's a cracker. I think the atmosphere is fantastic. The yeah. weather is fantastic. The crowd is fantastic. By the way, I didn't actually watch the Haka live live. Oh, wow. Because I just... You were just crawling out of bed? I was just crawling out of bed. I turned okay. the TV on and the kickoff had happened. Yeah. And there was like the first bomb had gone up that uh, I think Bodhi took. Right. And I was like, I can't do this right now. I need, I need some... I didn't go back and watch the anthems or anything like yeah. that. I just went back and watched the Haka. Okay. And it was very noisy. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Like I've told you in the past that I just always roll out of bed yeah. a bit late and then I kind of skip to the start of the game. I actually watched everything this time and it, oh, was, really? it was full on. Yeah, I didn't watch the anthems or anything. Anyway, so the game starts and my heart is beating out of my arsehole. Like, I'm like, this is not natural. Like The All Blacks started with so much ball. Oh, yes, it was lovely. We yeah. weren't getting that far, though. But we were just, like, I didn't expect us to break them no, right at that but moment. But we, we were making them make tackles. Oh, I was already yeah. thinking, oh, they're going to be tired making all yeah, these tackles. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna fade later in the game. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, we, we, we pummeled them away. We, we were showing little glimpses of things. And then mm. they... um. I think they almost got out of their end, and then we pinned them back down, and then we got a nice little try, try to try to. Fussy ended up getting yellow carded. Yeah, which was for a, which was fear. Yeah, people like didn't it came like in that from an offside position and a try scoring um, opportunity. Yeah, that one. I, I thought that it's one was not, not a big deal, but some people didn't like that one. Well, probably my dad also didn't like that one. Why? Because I think. You know the the way the ruck rule used to be was like there was no offside yeah, line until the ruck was right, formed, yeah, but, yeah, but now it's gone. That's that's been gone for a long time. Mm. So, so it's it's a try scoring opportunity penalty basically. 
it's not like a, an infringement penalty or that's built up over time. It's a, this is likely to be a try. Yeah, You've done those, something. Yeah. It's a professional foul. Yeah. Didn't, it didn't strike me as out of sorts. Like it was just normal. That's, that's normal. And then from that leading penalty. We got a wall try. Nice Cody Taylor. Try. It was sweet. What do you think about banks? Banks? Yeah. Two banks next to each other. What do you call them? Double bank? Oh. <laughs> You're talking about exactly. the line-out thing. We're talking about this thing that all of a sudden we're all experts in. It's double banking. and I've literally, I've, I've, never le- I've legitimately never ever heard that life. term before. I've heard of like uh, the, uh, f- the the leading props making contact first. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Obstruction at mall time. Which happens, big deal. which is a very technical yeah. penalty that gets missed all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe it was. I didn't think it looked like a normal mall try to me. Yeah, as a New Zealander, I wasn't going. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, wait a, wait a second. We got B and Z there and ASB. <laughs> Those are two New Zealand banks. They're owned by Australians though. Yeah, by the Australian companies. Yeah, but yeah, we got a mall try that was nice. Yeah, which is great. Great. We got pay for. They got... put us under a bit of pressure though. Yeah, I mean the to the TJ one. Oh, he kicks the sweet fifty twenty two. For fuck's sake. And then he, from the resulting play, yells at the ref. Like Gomenzolo, Mingomazolo. Sasha Feinberg and Gomenzolo. He kind of rolled away. He rolls in and he kicks the ball. Well, he he bumped the ball as he was rolling. So it slows the the ruck down by a second. And TJ still passes it to Blackheader. And then after that, he goes, what was that? Right yeah, at the ref. He didn't even say, what the fuck was no, that? No, he just said, what was that? What was that? Like, this showed me... That Very the ref, aggro. The ref was, um, like, um, overly, like, uh, like out of his depth, emotional, and, like, couldn't handle the situation by giving that penalty. I thought, oh, no, this guy's not no, not any good. Because Nigel Owens, anyone else back in the day, would be like, ay, 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 You talk like that to me one more time. That's the thing. You know, yeah. like, that was such a... We were hot yeah, on yeah, their yeah. line. In terms of things that... That's how... I've never seen yeah, that. Yeah, that's the thing. In especially terms of, without dropping an F-bomb. That's right. Fucking shit! Yeah, yeah. If, if some guy them. goes, fuck, ref, what are you <laughs> watching? Then you yeah. might expect very... Yeah, but I guess... No F-bomb. I question. Yeah, but, done, with, done with TJ Perinara's usual... Yeah. Usual... He's a loud mouth. I, I've seen him playing in Super Rugby where the refs literally told him, do not speak to me again. You need to shut up now. Basically. So yeah. he does have a bad habit of yapping off too much. And part of me likes the fact that the refs are like, I ain't taking any of your shit. But but that was, like like I said, I, I've never seen, I've never that seen that pinged that quickly at a test level. That's a big call. Yeah, and that was like, oh no, this referee is, he's not up to guff. First time he's ever refereed either of those teams. Mm. Like, not even versus each other. Never refereed at Alice Park. Yeah. Never refereed a game with the All Blacks in it. Never refereed a game with the South Africans in it. Yeah. It, it was funny as well not, because... Like, we've got, we got the two best teams in the world. Yeah. At one of the finest, Venues, you know, yeah. you know uh, auditoriums of rugby in the world. Yeah, the players, the guys have got to decide who wins this. Yeah. And, and that amazing cathedral... But we don't have a world like we, yeah. The, take your teams you, you are world think class. The ref should the ref, take himself out of a little the bit. I don't, not I don't mind them telling the, the TJ to next time. Yeah, I would have been okay. Yeah, yeah. Pretty stock standard. Give him, give him a lecture. Yeah, but he just like had like a. I'll show you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What's weird is as well. A couple of other times later in the game, one time Will Jordan knocked it on, and like he was yeah. like that went backwards. I never knocked it on, yeah, and it was yeah. like that didn't. And then one time Sasha Feinberg was with a kick for touch. And he was like, the touch yeah, judge, yeah, like, yeah. you give me bugger all meters. And yeah, I was yeah. like, okay, why aren't, these, why aren't both of these guys getting yeah. pinged for screaming like children? I don't know. I don't know. He was just trying to stamp his authority in an emotional, petulant way. TJ does talk too much shit, though. Yeah, TJ started great until yeah, that point. Until that point. <laughs> but yeah, hey, but it didn't matter because we got the next try. Bye, they, bye, they, they, they coughed up some pill and... We had some nice, like Cody Taylor Pounston at Lomax and yeah, Lomax out wide, fun. Bodie and well, you know, Will just, Jordan, Caleb well, Clark. It was so nice to see us like exposing the wide channels, like mm. getting on the flank of the rush defense, mm-hmm. finding that space out wide and just trotting them in clinically. Mm-hmm. Like in a way it's like, hey, you just, you got no hope here. Like uh, they were nice, nice tries. Mm-hmm. Really nice to see. So many other parts of our game. Uh, yeah. Well, I thought we played so well in so many areas mm. of that game for so long. Mm. 
But we, it's, by the way, South Africa, we will get to a point where we wax lyrically about your immense strength. But right now we're, we're just, just having a wee bitch session. Yeah. It's another thing I need to bring up. Yeah. The first, I think it's the first conversion. The little shot clock on the screen. Went zero, zero. Went to zero, zero. And it then. Was the, it was like just about to kick it. But some people don't seem to know this. That clock on the screen is actually not the official timekeeper's clock. Oh. That's just for the broadcasters. Right. That's and that, kind well, they, of they their... They did that in the, um, in the Argentina game. Yeah, exactly. like The clock's wrong. Yeah. It's kind of just their best guess. Yeah, right. They try to get it as close as they can, but it's not the official clock. And yeah. even then, like, because uh, then there were saying, uh, some people were saying like, well, Damien should have been timed out and then Sasha got timed out later on, but there was yeah, right. still time on the clock. If you actually notice... The ref says to him, three seconds when yeah. there's one second left on the TV clock. So it's, right. not, it's not a line. And the Aussie game, like you just mentioned, you saw it loads of times. He'd be like, 10 seconds, and it'd be like seven on the clock or something. They're never yeah. exactly lined up. Lined up. And it, I guess it's it'd be nice if they were. They it would be. Work. It doesn't seem like you're all looking at it going, hard. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I find it a little bit anxiety inducing, to be honest with you. Yeah. It adds this level of tension. Like, yeah. so stop smiling at it. Yeah, Just yeah. Just kick it. But if you've ever seen games where, like, the player kicks it out and you're like, oh, there's still three seconds left on the clock. Like, yeah, why did he yeah, kick it yeah. out? It's not because the ref is just like, oh, well, fuck it, close enough. But like Bode, it's because the ref kicking it out at the yeah. end of the uh, first yeah. half. Yeah, but it's because the ref's got the call. Like, that's time. Can we talk about the D word? The drop? The, oh, yeah. Because <laughs> that's thinking, the next try. Oh, yeah, okay, let's talk about that. I was going to go talk about discipline and talk about how that was a big All right, discipline sucks shit. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a moment. But, um, so... Uh, Bongi and Banambi clearly drops a ball over the try line and it gets awarded as a try. Yeah. That's what happened. Like Pretty that's, much. That's a knock on every day of the week and two times on Sunday. Pretty much. Uh, uh, and no universe is that not a knock on. In any other parallel universe where they play versions of the sport. <laughs> it's still a knock on. It's still a knock on. And what's interesting is, I think from the comment sections of the video I did about it, I think 99% of the South African fans that... agree with you, but there's a couple <laughs> who are just like, well, well, <laughs> there's still a You can see his inside <laughs> armpit. Was, yeah. It's, it's, it's a knock on. It's a clear knock on. Yeah. And the fact... That at that level, that is not. That's just not the. I don't know if that's the, weird that they didn't review that. Is, does the um does the umpire the got him? Uh, yes. But no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's what was average. <laughs> um, the does the on field referee have to ask the question? No, nah, they check yeah. every try. <laughs> they check every try. Uh, yeah, they do. So he does. So even if he doesn't ask the question, yeah, the Irishman upstairs should have been like, "Oh yeah, sorry, mate." Because when I saw the replay, or, <clears throat> I, I, when when Sasha was fiddling around with the T, I was waiting for the. the hold on a second. Like, hold the conversion. We need to have a look at this. Yeah, yeah. So like, was I. I was like, yes. even even if. Even that. if they had like reviewed it and been like, well, there's like, if they had fucking come to some like arsey way that like, nah, that's still a try. I would have been like, fuck me days. That's weird. But at least they looked at it, but they didn't oh. even look at it. Yeah. It was disgusting. It's weird. It's a massive fuck. I just don't get it. Yeah. 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 I but they get... look at stuff, which is way less obvious. Are we, are than we, that. Have we any explanation mm. from world rugby yet? I don't think so. I'll be curious to see what Nigel Owen says on that yeah, show. They yeah. do. I bet you he'll well, say. Well, I, tell you, I bet you he'll say like, if you think that yeah. Bongi's lost the, the separation, if you think the ball's gone forward, then it's a knock on. But I think it's like it's clearly a knock on. Said, m most people I heard comments from are saying it's a knock on. One guy actually said Bongi is going to be speaking with a deeper voice this week because he dropped his balls. <laughs> and I was like, I was a South African fan. I was yeah. like, that's a good comment. They um. Uh, I, yeah, I don't understand how that one was missed. Yeah. but it, it, I mean, it, I don't want to look back at that one and be like, no, that's no, the no. reason we lost Luckily, the game because I think they still had advantage. <laughs> Good chance they go on to score again. Maybe they do. We turned them, turn them away a lot on the first half. It's just weird that, that it didn't get looked at. Yeah, it's so it's it's an absolute shambolic result. And like, it, I don't think you can place the entire blame on the referee who I thought mm. was pretty average across the game. Um, yeah, both, both ways potentially. I, look, to be honest, I was really mm. focusing on the shit that was going against us at the time. As all fans uh, do. Yeah, but um, it's a big failure for the entire rugby, you know, the entire refereeing team. That one seems, yeah. yeah like, even, like, the touch charge, the AR should have been like, hey, I don't know if you've seen it, because I was sitting there and, like, I was like, oh, shit, they're back in this. Okay. 
Then I saw that and I was like, oh, yes. Boom. Yeah, he's knocked it on. Oh, no, that's good. Uh, that's great. Oh, that's okay, well, they'll, they'll scrub that one out yeah. and just any second now. Yeah, this didn't happen. Okay. Oh, they've taken the kick. Oh, and even then I was like, oh, they can still rub it out after it kicks. Well, they timed him out for that one. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And then oh, they're restarting out. Oh, what the? Uh, yeah, yeah. It was just one of those. Shit. Yeah. Oh, just so shit. Yeah, it's just weird. We did lose by four points, and that was worth five points. Yeah, but I don't think it's. Yeah, you, it's you can't. Well, you can't just say that's exactly what. No, we lost, it's, it's but. never like that. You do well. If this doesn't happen, then we would have won it. Because then you can. It just, made things. You can. You can go down the long list. Well, if you didn't do this, then we wouldn't have got that. Or we wouldn't go this way. It just it gets never ending. It certainly didn't help our chances. It certainly didn't help. No. No. It's just bizarre. It just seems like a failure. As I said, even if they'd reviewed it and. Somehow concluded being, that it was a try. Are we being wildly biased because we are not playing as much? Because the, the South African line I've heard is, oh, well, are you the double banking one? I guess we're square. And like the double banking one, I don't think it's a false uh, Well, th that's the thing. Like of, of all the things you want the TMOs to look at, like yeah. guys knocking on a try, that's like Over like that's line. like your murder level offense, <laughs> exactly. right? Like, Catching a guy with a gun as he shot somebody. Yeah, that's like red-handed. Whereas like, you know, some of those ruck infringements and stuff like Very that's technical. like maybe a speeding ticket. Yeah. Like you you want the referee and like them to like yeah. focus on the big stuff. <laughs> Get those ones right. Catch Dropping the, the ball over the line. If Cody Taylor <laughs> dropped his ball over yeah. the line after his double banking. Yeah. Or whatever double well, in the Aussie game, Gajo dropped it clean over the line. Yeah, if they'd given that, the Aussies would have been like, We've been fucking robbed. <laughs> <laughs> Taking our jabs. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> But yeah, absolutely outrageous. Ultimately, I find it very bizarre that it was not looked at at all. Yeah. And I think uh, the TMO should come around to every home in New Zealand and give us a personal, yeah, apology personal explanation and um, bend over in front of us all so we can give them a damn good, good spanking. Good, damn good spanking. So, yeah. And look, if you choose not to give him the spank, that's up to that's you. Up but to you. We'll we, leave that up to the people. Yeah. We get the opportunity to but spank yeah, way, that ass. They gave that try. Spank that ass for me. Back, Second half started, Jordy oh. Barrett got a nice intercept. He yeah. had some gas. Yes. Um, yeah, that was nice to see. Yeah, he had some quickies. Uh, and uh, Caleb Clark got one. Caleb Clark had a great a game, didn't line he? Line-out move. Fantastic Which game. I think Jordy Barrett also took, which was yeah. weird. It was a long line-out. And then yeah. we were 10 points ahead. It was lovely. It was. And then we were still, and after that, we still had a period of domination where we could have put more points on. You know? like. Yes. There's one had, where Quaker Smith pilfered our ball, and I was like, oh, damn, I've forgotten that one. We had, yeah, we had, I think we need, we don't have a pilferer. We've been lacking a pilferer for ages, and we seem to be not a, not that great at the breakdown at the moment. Mm. Like, we're not clearing out a ball. We're not, you know, our ball isn't like this sacred thing that we treasure. We lose our ball at the breakdown all the time. A lot, time. yeah. We and the give, breakdown was when we gave away a lot of penalties. We get, yeah, we get, yeah, yeah. We we sure did. It was absolute shit houseery. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, real. It's real a weird one in that when, because like, the box went to their bench a lot earlier, and yeah. initially when the box were going up against the All Black starters, it still felt like okay, we're not really getting like they brought all their bomb squad on, and then they tried to maul us, and they yeah. didn't get. A try. We no, stopped them. Right. Yeah. I think we might have given away a penalty not long later. Like, Doesn't sound like us. Taylor at the breakdown, I think. Not rolling away or something yeah. like that. But yeah, we didn't get the initial. But then when we brought our subs on. You know, it's okay for Fama Golo to hang out the back of the ruck and kick the ball, though. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, you can't question that, though. You might get... I've been the other way. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I mean, that one really fucked me up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm having a flashback to the start. Anyway. Farmer Gazzolo. Um, he's bloody good, though. Anyway, go on, go on, go on. We can talk, we'll talk about how amazing that guy is. I don't think our subs had the same impact there. They like, certainly did. When our bench comes on, we got worse. Yeah, that's true. Whereas the box have got this knack of bringing the bench yeah, on and they, yeah. they get better. So I was watching it going, oh, we're matching it here. And I was thinking, Okay, they brought their bloody bomb squad on about 10 minutes. We, we still Our guys are going to be fresh at the end. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're going to be fresh at the end. I was and, thinking that. And I was thinking, okay, that's, that's pretty good strat. Um, Razor. Razor. Really nice work here. Yeah. And then our bench came on and just were not the standard that we need them to be. No. They literally, I think, 
almost every single one of them, Bartalia maybe. Ra, Ra gave Ra came on, gave away a penalty. A penalty. Finau yeah. came along, missed the tackle, gave, gave away a penalty. penalty. Who else came um, on? Offa to a fuss, he got, got a yellow carded. Got a yellow carded, which was huge. Um, yeah, Neil, was not, did he get... I don't know if he gave away any penalties, we, but it we, was not good. We had our goal line defense disappeared a bit. Yes. They were able to get down that end and um, pick and drive over. Quaker Smith just drove over like no one Smith was there. Is he was incredible. Freak. He's unbelievable. So good. So, so good. I love that guy. Such a good player. Uh, yeah, I mean, do you remember when Bodie used to do that from us? Like when he was young, when he was like yeah. 2015? Yeah. Like DC would be coming off and you'd be like, oh, Bodie's coming on. It's great. Yeah. Exactly. It's the same feeling with Quaker when he comes on. It's like, Jesus, he's going to cause some havoc. Yeah. And he did. Stole our ball, stole our jobs, stole our women. <laughs> Got to try everything. Yeah. yeah. Came over and fucked everyone's <laughs> wives. Um. Well, it takes the, <laughs> it's, it's going on your channel. <laughs> um, yeah, I think uh, even Derry, or Derry got that ball ripped off him. Oh, yeah, stage, Derry got stripped. Which He might have had his knees on the ground. I think he had his knees. Because he had his knees. That was Marx as well that did that strip. He, yeah, his knees hit the ground and the referee... Didn't call tackle. Didn't quite see it. I don't know. And then his knees almost hit the ground and then it got ripped. Oh, yeah. So it had already hit the ground. But um, anyway, it's not like it was a really crucial time of the game. Sam Kane, I think, um, <clears throat> broke Sia Khaleesi's face. Yeah. I, don't, I, one, but there were, I haven't seen a proper... I've seen, like, the far shot. And the far yeah. shot for me looks like he hits here. And then and it's his... See his yeah. face, like, folds over onto yeah. his shoulder and, and that he it seems like into it. It seems like secondary contact from the one that I saw. But, but it's so hard to see. There's no decent close-up. I mean, again, yes, it wasn't like a full on. It wasn't shot the World the Cup head. final red card style, but I think it was probably, if we're being fair, if we're. We haven't had a chance to look dec see decent he's footage. Probably looking card, I think. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Broken orbital. Yeah. So he's gone for a bit. Is it yeah. orbital? orbital? I think so. Orbital. Orbital? So. Why can't I say that now? I orbital. Don't know. Hmm. Oh. But yeah, so. Crocker Smith, he's a replacement and he's caught a try. Grant Williams, he's a replacement and he scored a try. Grant tie. Williams, he's good too, man. Love him, eh? Yeah, he played really, really well. Yeah. I thought Cortez, a little shame for the bloke because he's, I, I, I would give him, I've got raps on him, but um, I don't think he, he may just got a bit startled, made mm -hmm. a couple of mistakes and didn't quite, that's a pressure game, able, man. Well, wasn't quite able to recover. Mm. Um, yeah, Grant Williams, like, caused a fair bit of havoc around the rucks um, up until he scored his match winning try. Yep. Um, they just we didn't were. even mention Sasha's 50, 60 meter penalty. Yeah, that was. And he nice. missed a real sitter not long before that. Yeah. Oh, no, not long before like, the end of the game, but. Yeah. He, um, that was a nice. The 60 meter one was Boy, nice. oh boy, that kid, man. He's a good player, hey? He's a hell of a player. How how good. What's the ceiling on that guy? Yeah, he looks. The how, business. What, how old is he? Like freaking 18? 23 or something? 15? 16? 12? Yeah, yeah I think 12. Oh, there's a lot of years of hurt we've got coming up. If we have Aaron Smith, um, what's his name? Uh, was a bit angry with the ladies. What's his name? Broke Bongi's leg in the final. Uh, oh, know. Shannon Frizzell. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Shannon Frizzell, Brody Retallick, Aaron Smith. Um, do we lose that game? I think if we had a better bench, nah. If they come on the bench, yeah. If, if you bring it off, bro. If you bring it on, like Sam Whitelock and Aaron Smith. Well, Brody. Apparently, the rumor is that Brody Retallick and Aaron Smith are like, we want to play. Change the rules and let us play. Mm. Moanga comes on. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have our best players in the world. Our best players playing the damn game. Like I remember, there was this moment where I was watching them in Argentina, and there was like, you know. You know, the All Blacks ended the game team, and I was like, it almost felt like they weren't the All Blacks. It felt no. like they were just like a super. We've got All team. Blacks at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. We could be All Blacks one day. Yeah. Um, like, I don't know. I don't want to discredit these guys. I think Sam Darius played really well this season. Yeah. But um, he wasn't able to make a decent enough impact. Mm. I think he's more of a starter kind of guy than an Maybe. impact kind of dude. Sammy Pino Finau, I just don't look think... Look shite, eh? He looked like he looked, absolute balls. He's a big guy. What he's the a, fuck? A, and that's why I think they have him, because he's like a big old dude. He's like, he's as big as Shannon Frizzell. Yeah. He's got he's like a Jerry Collins kind of build. 
and he doesn't play like it. He just played like shit. Someone has to go to bro. You're really big. Use yeah, that big frame yeah, of yours. Yeah, yeah. Go smash some dudes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. He he didn't come uh, or uh, whole bench didn't play particularly well. Um. I would have rather seen Satutu come on. Than oh yeah. Sammy Pino Fino. Played pretty well. Um. Super rugby. Yeah. Well, you know, it's a high level. Um. You know, we get that they get to play. Um. You know, all those really good Australian teams. Uh. And yeah, bringing on Talia. So you've got Talia, you've got Caleb. These yeah. were great. They took off Clark and put Talia. Caleb on Clark the had an outrageously good game. He's so good in the air. That yeah, was they took really off Jordan, happy. They, they took off both the wingers. And no, they, Jordan went. No, Jordan, Jordan got subbed, and then Talia went on the right wing, and then Clark got subbed, and Iwani went on the left wing, and ALB went into the midfield. Yeah, right. And but was that really necessary? I don't know. I don't think that's like the. Remember we talked about last time, like best use of the bench. Not best use of the bench. Like Talia is world class, but I don't think bringing on a winger for impact is yeah, the like best replace use. Replace Will Jordan. Replace Will Jordan and Caleb Clark, who are, you know, both still massive threats mm. out there. They don't look like they're, they're not to be offensive to wingers, but I they're think, not having to hit everybody. I think you're, you're better off having another forward there, aren't you? Well, yeah. Like if if Satutu comes on there, or you got Satutu, Dalton Papali, or Dalton Papali's got a broken or injured thumb. Yeah. Another Lucy there surely is more beneficial than just changing wingers. Yeah, you'd think so. Yeah. so but then we go 6-2. Yeah. We've never done that before. We have, but not much. Oh, okay. Fozzie did it. All right, well, yeah. Oh, well. Hindsight's 2020. So we could have won. Anyway, so we, we, didn't. we played so well for 62 minutes. Hold on a second. Yeah, go for it. Our tries, we get a maul try, a turnover ball try, an intercept try, and a line-out set play. We never score a try just kind of like 15 on 15. You know what I mean? We don't score a try like, we're going to break your defensive down. We're going to go through 20 phases. I feel like that's rugby, though. You you take your opportunities and you maximize Is it a concern that we didn't score? Because, I mean, Williams' try is just a that's regular a, phase play try. That's a freaking... Quacker Smith's try is just like a regular kind of phase, phase play try. Bongi's is a maul try. Bongies is a knock on. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Bongies is a Is it concerning that we couldn't ball. we couldn't break down like the structured South African defense? Okay, I know I don't think so cuz I think in a game of rugby you're always going to get moments and opportunities mm. and we've always been that team that punishes you when you make, when you make those they give us those little mm. opportunities. Did we have maybe any... that's maybe that's I think that was think... maybe the frustrating thing mm. was we could, it felt like we were going to we were jumping we we're getting them on the hop. They felt like they weren't having their best day and we were having a good day. Yeah. And, and we still lost. <laughs> and we still lost. <laughs> so shit. That sucks. It really sucks. It's And I'm just, we grew up our entire lives just We watched, can play crap and still win. Yeah, we used to play crap and win all the time against the best teams in the world. And we yeah. used to mow people down from anywhere. Yeah. And now we don't score in the last 20 minutes of no, games. That's right. That's bizarre. The fuck, man? This, well, this way sucks. <laughs> yeah, it really sucks. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. Yes. I really don't like it. But yeah. I mean, you could say, because I think barring one time when Ethan Black had a could have passed it to Caleb Clark, I don't think we had any other really genuine scoring opportunities, did we? Like where we were like, next play gonna... I thought we played well, man. Like Yeah. I we think, were close, but I don't know if we were ever if you like... you think about we lost in the same weekend that... Um, Australia beat the shit out of Australia. Uh, uh, no, South Africa beat the shit out of Australia. And was it in Brisbane? Mm. And we lost uh, Argentina. Argentina. Um, I was thinking then I were gonna get smoked. Yeah. And my, I had a mate on my kind of boys chat that, um, like with like fifteen minutes left in the game, he said, "Whatever happens here, like we've still proven that we're a right. massive force." And I was like, "This isn't fucking Star Wars. We need to win." <laughs> like, <laughs> um, but it's. I just don't like watching the All Blacks. So it's just there's something that feels yuck about it, and that one felt particularly yuck because when the All Blacks play well, they win. Usually, yeah. No, they not usually. <clears throat> when the All Blacks play well, they win. Mm. They win. The All Blacks played well. The bench didn't play well. Yeah, the bench didn't play well, and we lost. We did. And we just got mowed down. And I started just to f- let myself feel happy about it during the game. I was like, this is this is. You know, going well. We score another try here. We we wrap this up. Mm. Like and yeah, that is such a. I can't remember his name. Feinberg and Gomazolo. Mm, Gomazolo. 
Ngomazulu. He's I like think. one of the best players in the world. I need to say his name right. Yeah. Ngomazulu. I think so, yeah. Sasha Feinberg Ngomazulu. I believe so. Sasha Feinberg Ngomazulu. Someone yeah. will correct us. He please. is he's freakish talent good that's player. gonna terrorize the Very world for player. years to come. Uh and Yeah, because that uh, he's their he's, back line was even rejigged. Like they had Creel out yeah. on the wing. He has played a bit of wing before, but he's not like Kurtley Aronser. That's right. They had to rejig their back line. I was like, man, rejig their back line and we've got subs yeah. coming on. We're a 10-point lead. Th- they were moments, and their back three looks deadly. Yeah. Real deadly when they want it Colby's to be. Colby's a freak. He sat down Scotty Barrett. What the hell? Rocket rocket, man. Absolutely. It's unbelievable. That was, that was a heck of a thing to see. But yeah, just watching the All Blacks play well and lose. It sucks. Really sucked. And a game that just... Oh, like, when we lost to Argentina, I was like, oh, fuck, that sucked. But losing that game where I was like, oh, this is a good one. Oh, this is a sweetie. Mm. You never write us off. We still freaking got the goods. And then to come away and just poop the bed at the end. And I, oh, our kicking game at the end of that was just dog Why the shit. frick did Bodie kick it Why away? Why was he chipping it at the end? Nobody there? was even near it. Yeah. Wait, uh, it, and we had numbers on the outside. Uh-huh. Well, that was when they had Rico on the wing as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. And he was kicking off of Rico. And it looked like Rico was like, oh, shit, you, you kicked Good for me. Yeah, exactly. And then he wasn't quite onto it at that moment. He was hanging back waiting for the ball to come out. Yeah. And then um, we, if you think about, you know, that famous game against Ireland before they'd even beaten us, I think it was 2013, was it? Um, where we score that... Um, that last-minute play. Last-minute play. Is it Ryan Crotty? Ryan Crotty gets it from yeah. the pass from Dane Coles that came from Aaron Crudden. And they just had patience through that. Yeah. They played... A ton of phases. ton of phases. They played dynamic rugby. Yeah, it wasn't all the way flights, up the field. It wasn't flights of fancy. Made, you know, good meters when they needed to, but didn't try and pull the miracle out of the bag. Yep. Not trying to score from every play. Just... Get forward, get over the Even bonus line. Even back then, if, if Bowden Barrett, we've seen him do it so many times, a miracle play. He, he's capable of a miracle play. But do we score that try of Bowden Barrett's on the field that time? Because Aaron Crude and Bowden Barrett were kind of... Mm, they were vying for... Like number two, basically. Basically, yeah. Aaron Cruden just played it mm. as a dis- distributor mm. and played the cutout pass when he needed Keep to. Keep it moving, yeah. Keep it moving. Get over for meter by meter. Because there it. was a moment there I was like, we can still do this. Yeah. We can still... We've win. seen this before as All Blacks yeah. fans. We've done it a million times. Uh, but it's been a while, man. We need to fix what's going on off the bench. We didn't. We barely scored... We didn't score in the last 38 minutes of the freaking game last week against Argentina, which we all thought, oh, well, we had the game wrapped up. Anyway. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter. We didn't score at the end of the Argentina game. Like, we need to score tries when it really counts. 80 minute game. 80 minute game. We could change it to an hour game. You know? We should get John Kerwin to get the rules changed <laughs> yeah. because he is the guy. Yeah, he's the guy you go the to. World Rugby listen to. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Which is not actually true in case anyone. That's what it's all about. Doesn't get that, but yeah. You're not going to get shit from my Father's Day shit. That's no, lovely. You like it? Anything yeah. else? I think you're going to get shit for a lot of other stuff, but you're not going to get. I'm shit trying to shit. be not. I think that the the South Africans deserve to win yeah, that game. They exactly. won that game. Like yep. I think they got some shit. I I can't identify them because I'm not a South African fan and I wasn't looking for them. Mm. But I'm pretty sure that referee sucks shit. Yeah. And he sucks shit both ways. He wasn't a good enough referee to referee the two best teams in the world. Mm. Um. Look, the banking thing may have been completely legit. Like, it's whatever. And it was it, it was what it was. Um, I'd like to see just a better standard mm. um, coming up. I like, oh, we don't often, do we often bitch about referees on this podcast? I hope not. I don't think we often do. But Maybe we're just doing the whole like, butt hurt. We are butt hurt. We're definitely about this. butt hurt. For we're, sure. This one really stuck. Yeah. Yeah. But if we'd won a game and South Africa had been denied a try, I don't think I'd be sitting there going, well, you know, Cody Taylor still had a hand on I like to think I'd be like, man, you guys got fucked by that one. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I would still, you know, like you, I still think we didn't play good enough to win the game. Well, we, we threw it away at the end. Yeah. We, we kicked poorly. We kept kicked at And they time. took the momentum away. So they and they uh, and they believed in their game the entire. Mm-hmm. They've got that self belief that we used to have. Like we can still win this. Exactly right. You know they and it's a it was a bit of a soul crusher. You know as fans, and it's all on again next week. Yeah, got another chance. I just don't know if I can do it. <laughs> Cape Town. Cape Town. Apparently the uh, forecast is looking shite. Oh, okay, maybe that's good for us because we play in the rain. We grow up with a wet ball a lot. 
Yes. It's Speaking raining. of rain. It was raining in Argentina. It was. Pissing mm. down. Yes. I'm feeling, you know what this has made me feel? I'm feeling the blues that I felt. Because I, I, I know we're just about to talk to about Argentina, Australia, which we will talk about briefly for about two and a half minutes. Yeah. Well, everyone's um, already switched off. That's fine. Yeah. I went to, um, I went to bed just been like, oh. Yeah. But then I had like this lovely morning, like Madison had written all the, you know, like how school makes them do stuff. Yeah. She written all these poems and stuff. Nice. And like they had like this pre written poem that they had to finish off for them. That was like, my dad is funny as a, I mean, she wrote a clown. My dad is, is, um, is, is nice as a puppy and all those sort of things, all these sort of things. And they were all very lovely. I can't remember much of them. But then she said, and one of them was, my dad is handsome. And then she wrote, as a piece of shit. No, she, <laughs> no, she wrote, my dad is handsome and she loves Michael Jackson. She wrote down as Michael Jackson. Hmm. And I was like, okay, we're talking pre-thriller here. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, yeah, they had this really lovely like That's morning with, with your kids and like when you got, so when you got little kids and it's still very sweet and they yeah. still give a shit about you. Yes. Um, yeah, it was really, really nice. And I was like, okay, this isn't so bad. It's just a game. Just a game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but just in this conversation, I'm I'm, I'm being Getting filled the blues. with feeling the feeling the the sadness. The that is a fucking downer. Well, at I swear, least, I swear, I swear, at, least we, this we, at least we beat the the bookies predictions of us getting beaten by seven or nine or whatever it was. Oh well, yeah, that's something. We got a losing bonus point. Woo! Four tries, baby. Do we get more tries than them still? Yeah. Suck on that. Four tries to three. I just wish that yeah, we just I, I did, a shitload of penalties. Discipline, discipline's got to improve. Yeah, it really does. Anyway, okay, Australia versus. It goes like that. It turns Argentinian. Argentina. Argentina. Augustine Creevy's last Pucci. game. Pucci. Pucci. Pucci went back to his home planet. Um, what is? Uh, oh. Aussie were predicted to get flogged. Well, they didn't get flogged. They ended up winning. You know what? Can I tell you something which I feel a bit bad about saying? What's that? I think Noah Noah Lilis was a, a bit shit at test level. Yeah, uh, I like him at the Brumbies, but like his kicking options. Would you rather see Ben Donaldson, or maybe even Liner? Oh yeah, Tom. How uh, how many tests does um, Lilis here have under under twenty his odd? Yeah, like enough that you're like, nah. Oh. You had your twenty chances. 20 goes, 20 bites at the cherry. Um, like what? sometimes when, they, when when their forwards against South Africa were going backwards, it's like can't be too hard on them. Yeah. But yeah, they yeah. had decent parity against the the Pumas and it's like, why are you kicking like that? Why are yeah. you throwing that like shitty pass that you're making a guy isolated and he's getting flogged? Like, why are you doing this? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, there are some questionable parts of his game. <clears throat> and maybe he's just getting a bit of an um, armchair ride on the fact that, oh, well... The whole team shit, you know? Um, Maybe. But this was a game where they weren't getting flogged. And you're right. They, he should be like, you know, being a game leader. and At least and, a few moments to be like, oh, well, thank goodness we had him there to get that moment. Yeah. Not like, oh, he missed another penalty right before half time, which was very kickable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, do you reckon Schmidt's going to stick with him? Do you think it sounds do? like it? Like really? Schmidt in the post match care press conference. Well, he almost managed to get Max Jorgensen away. I was like, well, fucking almost. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jesus. You know, I've almost got a 12 foot <laughs> cock. I'm just about 10, 12, 10 feet short. Yeah. <laughs> I was meant to say inches. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> 10 feet short. Did You're I in say, negative territory. Did I, no, did I say 12 foot? No, I would. Uh, no, 12 I was, inch and you're I 10 said, feet short. No, I said. <laughs> Hey, that's a hell of an inning. <laughs> Did I say twelve foot? At the I don't know. Oh, you don't want twelve feet. That's yeah. too much. Yeah, that's um, too much. You imagine that. That's too me lying down <laughs> on the floor. That's like a snake just falling around. Mate, there's an anaconda coming out of your pants. Oh, jeez, no, it's just my cock. Uh, the reason I can't wear shorts. Um, you'd have to like create some sort of like system to like roll it up in your trousers. It'd be like one of those, oh, um, ro- you know, those like bubble gum roll up things. Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember those. a bit like one of those. You'd have to. Roll- That's a good value. You just have like this big, <laughs> so like, your big bubba bubba. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I once watched a documentary about a guy with like a 180 pound testicle. Have you seen that one? I haven't seen that one. 
It was quite disturbing. I bet it was. You could almost like sit on it. That would be uh, unfortunate yeah. <laughs> and uncomfortable. <laughs> it was very uncomfortable. It was um, really sad. The Argentinians only scored one try. Sorry, yeah. I'm talking about rugby only. Yeah. Juan Martin uh, Gonzalez got a mall try. If there's one thing you should be able to bet on the TAB, it is the Wallabies to concede a mall try. The other thing is uh, how pretty much a given that they're going to fuck up a um, regather of a. Oh star. my god, Jesus! They cannot... I was getting genuinely fucked off watching that. <laughs> like, stop it! Catch the ball! Like, and then they went to like um, Mahoney, whatever his name. We went to Johnny. I was like, okay, John, uh, this is more your field. Can you tell us why the Wallabies are so fucking shit at catching um, restarts? He's like, well. I guess these days you've got you've got a pod around you and you've got to get yourself you've got to cajole them to get to the right spot and things are moving and it's very noisy out there and it's wet, but like what like five out of five they f- completely screwed the pooch. It was, it was pretty much a guarantee. If the Wallabies like, have just scored points, they're about to fuck up the restart and concede some more yeah, themselves. It was such a momentum killer at yeah. each time. Every it was, time. It was real. And that's kind of what kept the um, RGs in the game for, kind of, for yeah. a long period. They're like the faulty towers of like regaining restarts. It was awful. It was absolute dog shit. Yeah. Jeez. Um, but look, they stuck in that. They did. They scored a try through Jake Gordon. Yeah. That and was a nice Ikitao, try. Nice little inside ball. Mm-hmm. Tom Wright popped from the deck. I like Ikitao. Nice try of the game. I think they were. Ikitao and Tom Wright both look sharp. I like Paisami too. He wasn't playing. But I just like him. I'm just okay. trying to find positives to say. Really want to see Tom Wright in that team now. Tom Wright was at fullback. Shit, not Tom Wright. It's guy. Fraser McWright. Fraser McWright, once he gets back fit. He's world class. Tizano made 22 I out of 22 tackles. I want the South tackles. African people and the rest of the world to see how good Fraser McWright Fraser is. Fraser McWright is very Although good. Although we've been bigging him up all year. He's probably going to have an absolute Stinker. shit. Well, they've already played the box, so they won't see them anyway. Well, like, he'll play at the end of the year tour. I suppose so. Who are they going to play? I don't remember. Huh. Some teams in the Northern Hemisphere. Yeah maybe some including the likes of England, France, Scotland, UK Wales. and Ireland potentially somewhere. Um, yeah, yeah. One but of those teams. One of those teams. And maybe like Georgia to th- throw in there. They did play Georgia in Australia. That's the one <laughs> team they didn't concede a mall try against. Mm, the Georgians are known for their malls. Exactly. Well, they might be. Valentini got a try. He was busy. Yeah. Harry Wilson was busy. There's a lot of intent out there. I thought at the start of the second half, they really showed up physic- um, physically. Mm. They were putting in a lot of big shots. Mm. But they're just, yeah, they're just a little rudderless. And maybe that is down to Lolisio. Maybe. Yeah. If you get a- Some of the Irish fans were saying, don't fear. When Joe Schmidt first took over Ireland, our attack looked shit as well. So I don't yeah. remember back that far. So. Yeah, that's why I wasn't following that Irish rugby mm. team that hard until they started beating us. Exactly. I was like, what the fuck is that? That's when stuff gets real. Hmm. so yeah maybe it's just a matter of time like it's just Rome not built in the day can't turn the wall probably around. come right just as they play the All Blacks that'd be great wouldn't it yeah that'd be fantastic imagine that so we lose the bled is low lose the Freedom Cup the Freedom lose... Cup's the one we got against the yeah, box by the way it's on yeah. the line this weekend when was the last time we lost that I think 2010 Whew. I've had it for a long time it's never really been a thing do you think it could become a thing if yeah. us in the box kind of have this similar level, or if when we... You, it's like one of those ones... Because, like, the bled is low. Jesus. How long have we had that thing? Yeah, we've been making a big deal about the bled is low because it's historically used to be so revered. But is the Freedom Cup going to be become the one that's more important? If I was South Africa and I win this weekend, I'd make a big deal. But make it. a big deal of it, yeah. Yeah, I would... Because it was for Nelson Mandela, for God's sake. Exactly. Um, I would be pretty stoked about it, and I would... You know, hold it up, and it's probably a little bit more um, prestigious than the Qatar Airlines Cup. We've never won that one, so I wouldn't know. It, well, the only team that's allowed to play for it is uh, South Africa. They played Wales for it this year, and they yeah. retained it. <laughs> is it like the? Is it like they have to defend it every time they Maybe. play? Yeah. yeah, it's the Cash Grab Cup. Um, yeah, and the bear, they had Emirates this weekend with the flyover and Qatar Airways. Yeah, oh, yeah. airline. Oh, yeah. Pick a bloody airline, will you, South Africa? Uh, and New Zealand's still available. Yeah, they probably don't have the cash. We got um, we got good safety videos. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah. Um, I'm sick of the safety video at the moment. It's a. Uh, I don't fly enough to get sick of it. Flying a lot recently. Uh, it's the Wonders of the World one. Like okay. where they're debating which. Philosophers of Rhodes. 
Colossus of No, they're debating. The Great Pyramid again. Yeah, no, no, it's in New Zealand. The Lighthouse shit. of Alexandria. They're, they're, the debate is they've got all these assholes in Cape Rianga. Oh, okay. Do you really want to hear it? No, I don't really want to hear it. Go look it up. Piece of shit. Okay. Uh, but the Aussies won it with a last minute penalty. It was one of those new law variations that got the Pumas. Yeah, what was it? Uh, yeah, no, there's if, if you're was if you're in the area of the ruck, you're not allowed to play the night. And I think it was Angus Bell who was. You're also not allowed to kick the ball, eh? eh? When you're in the area of the ruck, don't know. Like Sasha Farm game. He was just there. rolling away, and the ball. You. I don't know he shouldn't be the. You can ping it. You can. You can, ping, you can ping it. You can literally ping that. Probably more likely to ping that than some guy going, "What was that?" Usually. But yeah, that irritated me. They get, the, get the feeling it did. It's rugby, man. Grow a set of balls. Mm. A freaking halfback's going to be yappy. If he doesn't tell you to get fucked, get on with it. Maybe just get him, give him a warning. Get fucked, ref. That was bullshit. If he had said that, I might have, have accepted the penalty. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure. I've been like, ooh. What if it was, what the fuck was that, ref? I would have been like, TJ, that was dumb. Yeah. You, you're vast. You, you put us I don't up. think it was the first time he'd shouted at the ref because it was a couple of times before him when Khaleesi had had his hand on the ball and then ref would be like, no! And he'd be like, ooh. And then I think TJ had been yelling at him a couple of times before that. I haven't gone back to watch it. Don't bring myself to do that. Why are we talking about the All Blacks again? Oh, he's pissed off. Uh, last minute penalty, the drama. Yeah. Ben uh, was it a decent... kicks it over. And then they win the game. Yeah, that was... Oh, we didn't even talk about the, the time, the stadium clock being off. The ref was like, oh, yeah. the stadium clock is wrong. It's wrong, by the way. Can I just mention again that it's wrong? And then yeah. the Aussie players start charging the penalty <laughs> like, the stadium clock's finished. Like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, you should have popped up like a little pop-up and then been like, like the way I kind of pop up. By the way, the rugby games have an official timekeeper <laughs> who is the only authority any other times are only for indicative purposes. Yeah, very nice. You could have just said that. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't have had to have your hand like that. That's that, true. That would have been a bit weird. You could have just been like loud and proud. Mm-hmm. You know, like a fart, like a honeymooner's cock. But yeah, good on Australia. First win in the rugby championship. They didn't get any wins in the rugby championship last year under old Eddie. First win for Joe. They're still bottom of the log. Uh, if they win next weekend, they will be. I think the, the box have pretty much got this sewn up. <sighs> They're three from three. Everyone else is like two. a win and two losses. Yeah. Yeah. It, no, we had two wins. Oh, and we had one. two wins and one loss. So course. if no, we. No, no, no. We had one win. We lost to Argentina and South Africa. We only got one win. Oh, shit balls. Yeah. Wait. We beat Argentina. Argentina it's... beat us. Argentina lost to Australia. Yeah, sorry. For some reason, I thought. We can't have two losses. What the fuck? <laughs> Ah, yeah. okay. So we yeah, might be one from four next week. We yeah. never give a shit about it, but now it hurts. Yeah, we never give a shit about winning this because we always win it. That's right. No one gave Fozzie any credit last year for winning it. Um, yeah. or the year before. So yeah, that was Australia Argentina in the wet. Augustine Creevy's last game. Well done, mate. Finished the game as a flanker because he had to come on. Hell of a career. Yeah. He would have seen so many changes over his career. He's one of the few remaining guys around our age that was still playing international rugby. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's, he's called it quits. The blokes around our age are like Dan Carter, Richie McCaw, Jerry Collins. guys are a bit Jerry older than Collins. us, I think. I think they're a year older than us. Mm. Who's, who's... Well, okay, Sam Whitelock. Ken Richard Kahu is younger than us. Oh, is he? Yeah. Uh, Sam Whitelock's younger than us. Yep. Kieran Reed might be exactly the same age as us. Okay. Ellen Wynne Jones is younger than us. Uh, we're old. We're very old. There isn't a, other, another <coughs> international player. Yeah, it's that, it's that, we're, that's the, we're beyond almost that stage of life where when we were 17-year-olds, you'd be like, holy shit, that guy's our age. Yeah, exactly. And now you're like... When you oh. see a 39-year-old still playing, holy shit, that guy's our age. <laughs> yeah, still like, playing. You're like, well, he's almost my age. <laughs> yeah. It's only 41 in a week. <clears throat> Jesus. Oh, put your happy birthday messages below. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Tony. <laughs> you biased bastard. Oh, yeah, fuck. Um, can I also tell you... For you those can people, tell me. For the people who haven't managed to somehow turn off the podcast while driving. Yes. Um, the Samoa beat Tonga. Yes. 43-17 in the Pacific Nations Ooh, Cup. Ooh, damn, son. Samoa had a big lead. Yeah. And then Tonga were like... I don't remember how many points. It's like 28 nil or something down. 
Yeah. And they took a three. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> but it worked because then they scored like a try after it. I think two yeah. tries. So that got them the momentum. And then they conceded more points. Oh, that's so they, um, the Tongans got What are the most notable names playing those games? At the a bunch of guys who play for like minor Pacifica. Okay. And Obviously, that's done them well. Yeah. Well, actually, well, the Samoan play. <laughs> well, both both teams had guys playing for Moana Pacifica, so that was interesting. So again, the teammates up against teammates. Um, ben Tamiafuna came back and played for that one. Nice. Played for Tonga in the tight head prop position. Didn't go so well, huh? And um, Theo McFarland is the guy who plays for Saracens over in the UK. He's class. He played for Samoa. So both those nice. guys are giving up their holidays to be playing rugby. Like they should be on the off season right now. Oh, that's nice. So good for uh, them. There was fuck all people there because it was played in Apia Park in Samoa on like a Friday afternoon when everyone's still at work. Mm. So it kind of seems a bit half-assed. That's uh, should be played on a Saturday. I saw. I haven't watched the game, but I did see the opening titles for it, and I was like, "Well, they're impressive." Yeah, very flashy. And in the same competition, USA beat Canada twenty-eight fifteen in LA. Take that, Canada. Yeah, I a similar see. vibe. Like the USA got some scores. Canada had a be, patch, and then USA. randomly, I think my Granddad was born in Canada. Okay, which I think may technically does that mean you like maple syrup? Love it. There you go. Yeah, exactly. You are Canadian. I think he was born in Canada. Um, when you hear hockey, are you thinking field or ice? Thinking field. Then you're not Canadian. No, now I'd say I'm thinking ice, but growing up I would always think field. Hmm. Hockey. When I met Canadians for the first time in China, they um, found it weird that I called it ice hockey. They were like, hockey is just hockey, you fuck with. Yeah. No, I was like, well, no, New Zealand, it's on... Uh, like AstroTurf. So what do they call that? Field, field hockey. Yeah. Is, there, is there anyone playing field hockey over there? I doubt it. They play lacrosse, don't they? Yeah. So there'll be some small sort of... Basically, all of the guys in the Canadian rugby team are guys who couldn't make it at the NHL, I think. Because that's a pretty rough sport too. I think they're probably... If they committed to it and had a, it was a popular sport, they'd crush. Yeah, for sure. Mm. They got the guys for it. But yeah, 28-15, so America got a win. That competition continues this weekend as well. Done a fair bit of clapping this week. Mm. You, want me, you want more clapping or less clapping? Well, I don't think I'm happy with the current level of clapping. Okay. Um, games this weekend. Do you see us winning in Cape Town or do you think the box will play better and we will not be able to match that same level? Like if the box play well, can we beat them? The fact my head was so far down there, what do you think? I reckon you're not optimistic. I want to be optimistic. I really want to be optimistic. I hope we learned a lot of lessons from that game. I hope we go take, out. Take the learnings. Take the learnings. Like it was a, we went to school. Um, but if I was a betting man, I would say that South Africa, we're going to win. Very, very, I really, 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 really hope we win. But What about Argentina and Australia? Uh, I'm going to go Australia again. Okay. I think if they can sort out their restart um, gaining catching um that's gonna help argentina are so jekyll and hyde i'm gonna say that they're gonna be world beaters again this weekend okay. so they'll play a lot better okay what are you saying about the all blacks south africa yeah i don't think we're gonna win this weekend just gone in my super brew i picked new zealand by one yeah and i picked australia by one one of those results i was correct one of those results i was not you're pretty close on both yeah um yeah i would like i knew new zealand can win um, if our bench get an absolute rocket up them and come out like a bench possessed, and also we also need to our f- imagine <laughs> if like a WWE thing like when the squad is named, it's like Aaron Smith, Sam yeah, Whitelock, like, you'd be like, "Hey boy!" Yeah, we like um, <laughs> announcing Stone Stone Cold Steve yeah, Austin, exactly. Like the sound of glass <laughs> mashing. Da, 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 da. That'd yeah. be great. I'd feel much better if that happened. Yeah, yeah, it'd be nice. Sam to... Pity Fee now. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, anyway. I'd be I'd be excited about a Cam Roy guard right now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but oh, we didn't even talk about the NPC. Uh, Auckland North lost Harbour again. lost. We we got a win last week. You North did. Harbour. You're still without well, a win. We're winless. Enough from we're four. three from we're three losses. One win. You're four losses. Jesus, this is the Blues franchise, man. Yeah, it sucks. We well we we just won the comp. Shouldn't we be able to put something together? Quant, I think Qantas. Sorry, counties. Um, our man Satutu plays for a county. I don't think he's played yet, has he? I think he has. Oh, has he played one? Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Anyway, it'd be good to see... It's good to see him playing rugby. He's right where he belongs. 
can't even pick our best players. Um, oh, we didn't even talk about um, the week before. This probably would have been the main thing of what our podcast would have been about last week. We, sorry, we didn't have a podcast last week. I um, had the shits. And yeah. my son also was a bit ill. Mm. Uh, but Leon McDonald left. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We we would have literally talked about that for half an hour. And now what? Because there'd been no games on that weekend. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now it's an afterthought for yeah. the five people that are still watching. Yeah. Are you enjoying hey, John. Yourself? Steve, good to see you, pal. Billy boy. It was so weird if your name was Steve and you were like, well, maybe there's a good chance. There'll be literally hundreds of people watching this at least. Well, there'll be thousands of people you would think would watch this podcast. All the way to the end though? Thousand, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. But at the end, we've probably got dribbles of maybe a thousand people here. Okay. But there must be a Steve in there. I want Steve. South African Steve who's like, fucking keep crying, Tony. Yeah, Steve. Keep crying. It's like a dick. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Sorry, Steve. You're a good man. Um, yeah, fantastic. Great work, Mark. Anything else to talk about? Seeing as you're telling Steve to suck a dick. Um, I didn't just, say it like that. I just said suck a dick. Okay. You said suck well, a dick. I didn't say it with that so sort of intonation. Don't take stuff out of context. Yeah, come on, man. It's like TJ Perinara. If he said, what was that? What? <laughs> I just want to know what that was. Yeah. Um, there was an NHL player who once got suspended for calling a guy a cocksucker because it's a homophobic slur. Right. Um, Montoya got a three-game ban mm. from the uh, uh, from the NRL last year for being caught audibly on the microphone calling someone the F word. Okay. Well, cocksucker, I think, is a generic. Have you watched the show Deadwood? Everyone's, Everyone's a cocksucker. Hey, yeah. cocksucker. Like, because so, someone was milking a penalty in the other one. And right. He, and he was like, he was like, Ben, stop being such a... Yeah, I if, don't think I've used that word since I was like 15 or something. If we'd run with maggot. Yeah. Um, but they... Yeah, it's not on. Yeah. It's not on, on. But boy, I've heard... Uh, worse. Way worse on rugby yeah. field. I don't know. I think that's Jesus, worse than, I, th- I played I th- rugby 20 years ago. I think that's worse than cocksucker. Oh, 100% it is. Yeah. It's not acceptable. I'm not saying the, the band was wrong. And he came out and he had to be like, I'm okay, mates. <laughs> like, <laughs> Just like you have South African friends. Yeah. <laughs> Old Steve. Hey, Steve. Keep sucking that pole. Um, <laughs> oh, man. I'm just happy the battery lasted the whole way. Yeah, well, don't team fight. Okay. okay, we got there. Fantastic. This is the podcast. It's called Two Cents Gets Distracted. You can find it on many platforms. Well, including Spotify, iHeartRadio. I tried Google Podcasts the other day, but Apple it, told Podca- me, it told me no. Yeah, Apple Podcasts. Okay. And wherever else you get your podcast before they get eaten up by another big podcast company. We'll be doing this again next week where you can also. You might be watching us see Tony be salty about the Cape Town loss. Uh, or be really, really smug about the... In uh, which case, you probably won't tune in if you're a South African fan because you don't want to see next week will the be on joy your, on Tony's face. Next week will be on your channel. This is true. So next week, you won't get so much fucking and... Fucking. Yeah, it'll be a bit cleaner. There'll be less cocksuckers. <laughs> <laughs> you got to stop saying that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was Ryan Gitz laugh, by the way. He's a baldy. He's a he's a retired now hockey player, but he got um. He gets what? He's the one who got suspended for using that word. You you bore me cocksucker. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. he's Canadian as well. So. Well, you it's a derogatory, isn't it? Because you. I suppose so. Yeah, I just I just never like sometimes I take stuff just at face value and I never think about. Well, you're saying being a cocksucker is a bad thing. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you you filthy muff diver. Yeah, I yeah, suppose no? so. People don't say that so much. Yeah. yeah. And when I used to call someone a piece of shit, I'm not like thinking you're actually something that came out of someone's anus, but, you know. Apart from, remember that time you called me a piece of shit and you're like, no, no, Tony, I don't want you actually. to confuse. <laughs> I don't want you to confuse. I'm not being like figurative or metaphorical. Literally. I think you literally are something that was excreted from. Well, sometimes when I walk in that freaking from, door with that smell on the stairwell. Yeah, it's a strange smell down. Mm-hmm. Um, it's at this time of night. Um, this wrap up has lasted a wee while. Yeah, it has lasted a wee while. Um, can I tell you, are you seeing it was my birthday coming up soon? I used yes. to have a, a, a friend from film school. Sure you did. Fuck you. Uh, 
<laughs> and I haven't heard from him yet, but for years afterwards, okay. he would send me a photo. Of? <laughs> no, on my birthday, oh. he would take a photo of one of his own shits and send it to me and be like, hey, look, you've got the same birthday. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it always made me laugh but grossed me out disgustingly at the same time that's pretty nasty yeah that's pretty nasty anyway look well done Mark we shook have we shake hands already no oh, we'll go through this well done farewell hot it up take care folks see ya <laughs>